Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to change these simple fractions to decimals. Look at this easy, quick way to do it. In this example, we have 32 out of 100. So 32 out of 100, we would like to write it in decimal. Very easy. We write the number. And we ask ourselves, how many zeros are on the bottom? In this case here, we have two zeros, which means two numbers have to be behind the point. Two numbers behind the point, which means the point's going to be here. We have our two numbers, and we put our zero there. 0 0.32. Two zeros, two numbers behind the point. Another example, we have 5 over 10. 5 over 10, we put our number and we ask ourselves 5 over 10 means it is 1 zero there, which means one number behind the point. One number behind the point, 0 0.5. Another example, 16 out of 100. We write our number 16. And we see there are two zeros, which means two numbers after the point. 0 0.16. Two numbers after the decimal point. 7 over 100. We write our 7. And we know there are two zeros, which means there are going to be two numbers after the decimal point which means 0 0.07. Be careful, 0 0.07, two zeros means two numbers, 0, 7 are behind the decimal point. Another way we can tell is that it's 7 out of 100. We have the tenth here, we have the hundredth here. So tenth and then hundredth, 7 out of 100, there it is. Very easy. Another example. 13 out of a thousand. So we have our number 13. And we know that we have three zeros. One, two, three. That means there are three numbers after the point. So we put our point. We only have two numbers. So we, make, we put the third one. 0 0.013. Three numbers after the decimal point three zeros. Another example, we have a whole number here. So our whole number is going to go in our units, six point. Our four, we have two zeros, which means we're going to have two numbers. Zero, four. Two numbers after the point because there are two zeros. So as you can see in throughout all of them, we look for how many zeros are in the denominator out of 100, which means two numbers are going to go behind the decimal point. There they are. Out of 10, one zero means one number will go behind. There it is. Two zeros, two numbers after the point. Two zeros, meaning two numbers are going to go after the point here. Three zeros, meaning three numbers are going to go behind the point and here two zeros and we have two numbers behind the decimal point. Quick way to change and to, to move from fractions to decimals.